I wanted to kind of give a little bit more information on the steering column because I recorded this about, gosh, many months ago in February. It's July now. And I look back going, you know, there was a lot of prayer that went into a lot of this in the back end that I, I don't even share in these videos because I was so focused on making the videos to keep a record of what I did so that I can put it back together. And then I decided, hey, why don't I share this for others that are going through a similar process with a similar, similar Econoline van and hopefully it'll be helpful. So the, the story behind is that we knew that we needed a new steering column because as you can see, the steering column was just completely destroyed where the ignition cylinder goes in, the thieves really did a number on it uh, and broke some cables on the inside, destroyed some other like electrical components there. But I was like, God, this would be amazing if you could provide for a steering column. And this was after like looking and looking over the internet, finding out that, you know, really expensive to get them here, you know, shipping them, being new, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And so I ended up calling the local junkyards and sure enough, uh, the pull pay had one. And so I went there and I was like, it would be really cool, God, if we could find this van right away, the part for it so that we can get on this project. And it was the very first van, literally the first van I came across there at the junkyard, there it was just sitting, our installed, had all of the paneling and everything. I'm like, this is perfect. So I ended up pulling it, paying for it and bringing it back. So you'll see in this video, just kind of showing what I found and showing what the old steering column looked like. And you'll see that there, there's still you know a lot of work to do on it, a lot of cleaning to do on the panels, but, uh, I'm just thankful uh, I found a steering column that's in really good condition. Pull it out of a 2002 Econoline van. There's the old one all beat up and uh, destroyed. Uh, this one actually seems to be a nicer quality one. Um, I did just, I'm working on the levers right now. I'm taking the old lever because it has the overdrive button. I'm putting it on the new steering column. Here's the old one or this came with the new steering column, it's broken. Um, turns out you have to pop off this little plastic kind of cap piece where the ignition key goes in, and then you're, you're able to remove this little piece that goes, nice little cover piece that goes right on it, and you can take that off so you can get to the gear, then you slide, you gotta unplug oh, this guy right here at the very end get a little hammer, knock this pin out, and the overdrive, or in the gear shift, pulls out like that. So that's how that works. And then you slide this cover all the way off. And this was a much better shaped cover than the one that came with it because the thieves really mangled it. I mean, it's all kind of just messed up pretty bad. So that's the old, old steering column, new steering column. So I gotta figure out this whole section here. I need to get a new ignition key cylinder and figure out that you're supposed to, the way to fix it, or if you have the key, you can just, well, you can push a little pin, you put your key in here and you twist it, and then it allows you to push this little pin down and then you can pop this off. Well, I don't have the key. I'm going to try to call the dealership. I have the VIN number for this vehicle and maybe the u pull it has the key too. I, I highly doubt that. But if they do, that would be really, really helpful. I didn't think about getting that when I was there. So, anywho, going to call about that uh, Monday. So, I'm kind of stuck here. I think I'm as far as I can go. Um, I'm gonna regrease this shaft here and then put that part back together. Um, not a lot of wear and tear on the column itself. It's like a gear shift part that um, looks really good, like the bushings look really good. Uh, not too bad, really. Um, and the steering column is a lot nicer. Uh, the steering wheel is nicer than the one that was in this van. And then I also grabbed a a panel that goes underneath the, the steering column to make it look pretty because that other one was like kind of broken. So anyhow, 
I'm hoping that I can get this thing plopped in there and we get the fluids changed and I got a new oh yeah I also did a tire yesterday too I went down to discount tire and had them fix the tires there's one flat but unfortunately the sidewall was damaged and we, they couldn't fix that one but we had a spare and it was on top and uh, Katie reminded me hey get the spare see if that one works too well that's the actual one that worked and it's on the vehicle now so no flat happy day but we're coming along I put all the bench seats back in uh, we still need to clean the carpet pretty much strip it all the way down that's still in the plans so we can clean it but I'm stuck today Sunday I'm gonna go to church and then uh, probably Monday we'll call around and see if I can't find keys but I'll see what it costs to have the dealership cut a new key if they can even do that for a 2002 Econoline. So thank you for watching the video. Um, if you have any like questions or comments or what I did or anything about Econoline van, still the process as you can see, putting it back together, uh, doing it kind of slowly uh, and, and doing it well. But if you have questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe to keep updated on the process of this build. And remember, be encouraged, be available, be expecting. The kingdom of God is at hand.